the question of is it homegrown or spontaneous or basically imported from other models um, is is often uh, something that a lot of people would ask in Tunisia, uh, especially those who are not monitoring the situation. Uh, my my reading of the situation is that um, it was definitely homegrown, but not uh, only in the 28 days of the revolution. That was the last episode. Uh, I think that um, it's something that um, shows that uh, these people in Tunisia, basically the people of Tunisia, know what's best for them. If you um, look at the history of the country, uh, it's definitely a stable, nice, secure, um, very Mediterranean country, but um, also used to very abrupt changes. Um, if you think we were Carthaginians and all of a sudden we became Romans. The Roman thrived in Tunisia and became part of the empire and and then we became Christians. Uh, and then we became Christians and we uh, gave two popes and translated the, the Bible into Latin. This is where it happens in Carthage and, and gave St. Augustine to the world uh, and, and influenced a lot uh, the Christian world and the Western world. All of a sudden then uh, the Muslims came but uh, uh, with the same people became Muslims and a lot of Islamic civilization also uh, changed uh, the course of history and at some point also we uh, became colonized by the Turks and Turks were the rulers and then we became French and then uh, became independent and one ruler uh, ruled the country from 56 to 87, Burgiba, and then in one day Ben Ali took power and people were okay with that. <laughs> so it's long episodes of very stable and organized way of life and then abrupt changes that happen really fast. Um, ben Ali's rule was on the decline. We could see it, we could sense it, and, and, and it happened at some point that we got the last drop uh, of patience was gone and everyone decided on the same time that it was time to change. So I don't think um, it was important. I don't think it was organized and that's why it succeeded because as I said Ben Ali's regime was really well uh, managed. The dictatorship was very well managed. The system was functioning and only something like this that was empowered definitely by social media uh, allowed every single Tunisian to change his mind in the same time and, and that's what happened and say it's enough. That, I think that's what everybody said at some point because I, everyone would not agree with certain points but wouldn't trade uh, everything um, they had uh, and, and pay high price, but uh, I think um, at some point um, there was no way we could continue under that system and ruled by someone who basically was not worth it, I think.